Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. I'm stuck in the truck in traffic, headed to Bay St. John. The traffic app says that we'll be there in 15 minutes. <laughs> Here in a few minutes, it might say 30 minutes. Who knows? Who knows? But tomorrow is the full moon. It's also going to be a super moon with a lunar eclipse. I hope the fishing is going to be okay tonight. We're going to try and do the bayou and the river. We're going to hook up with some people on the bayou different things like that we might just be in the truck in traffic all night <laughs> all right we finally made it to Bayou St. John hopefully the person who's waiting on us is still here all the fun ones are down there yeah you're right nice to meet you William you too, man. he's a subscriber from uh, Missouri come all the way down just to catch some cichlids get a little piece of red wiggler here put it on a drop shot we are going to be fishing for catfish later on in this video but we are going to get some bait here and do some cichlid fishing with William we might get into throwing the cast net here you see it's right there but first things first let's get something on the line All right, so where I'm at, there is a, a concrete bulkhead that slopes down. We're kind of in this corner here on the bayou. There's a, a pump over there. Right here where I'm at by these trees, you see the trees? There's a lot of pieces of concrete and cichlid-like hanging out around the, these concrete slabs that are on top of the sloping bulkhead. There's a lot of that grass that down there that uh it's not grass so i'm walking around i'm trying to see if i can see them and i'll, and I'll stock them the wind has got me at a disadvantage for that i can't really see what's going on down there oh i got one right off yeah you're right now legally oh this is a cool looking one too legally you can't catch and release these you have to because they're an invasive species to this part of the country you can't release them so you have to try to get creative they make a really horrible bait because they're not very oily you can eat these too but we'll see if i can get some really big ones that i could eat later also stuff for live bait would be good too i'm gonna just do a little bit of this line fishing thing and then start throwing the net like uh, getting hit by something right there. Here we go. Look at that. Just a little guy. A little bluegill. Caught him in the belly. Could use that for live bait later. Here we go. It's a bluegill. Not the cichlids that we're looking for, but that is the bait that we're looking for. Here you go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, there's a bunch of things right in here. Something just came up and tried to eat one of them, too. That's a nice bait. I think I see a nice looking cichlid. Really hard to see. Oh, there we go. Got him. that is just barely big enough to eat the wind is really picking up right now i might switch over to the cast net see if i can get some bait so i can get to the uh, catfish spot lickety split yeah you're right i'm not sure if they're cichlids or not but there is something not there's a, some fish right here not going far yeah they're cichlids they're little tiny ones cichlids can be easy to stalk because sometimes They'll stay right where you find them at. Of course, this one is too small to do much with. Now that is a nice bait right there. Look at that, that is decent. Spent some time doing this. So now it's time to unload the pocket. Somebody said they wanted to see the 
bait in my pocket. It's a little hard to do, but here we go. There's one. You see down in there? There's a bunch. All right, guys, I got my pockets unloaded. All right, dude, man, it was nice to meet you and fish with you. Craig and I are gonna go to our river spot now. We got plenty of live bait, but time is ticking. We gotta get there, come on. Check it out, we're here. This is the fly, Audubon Park on the Mississippi River. Now this place closes at nine. We have about maybe three to four hours to fish here. And I think that is just enough. As you can see, the dredge is still here. It's not looking as active as it was before, but it's making noise over there. We're gonna fish nonetheless. Looks like the bait that I would actually prefer to fish with is in here pretty thick, but I would not suggest throwing a cast net in here right now. This is very snaggy. Mostly tonight, we got live bait, summer big. Ooh, that we could actually cut up. Let's do that. First bait, how's that looking? Now, because the wind is kind of blowing the line towards the trees, I got to walk over to get the bow out of the trees. And we did that successfully. Look guys, it's Bucky. Ooh, something's messing with that headpiece. Oh, that was a nice hit right there. I want him to just take it. I'm not gonna run over there and start freaking out yet. I do need to go see if that's a slack line. Wow, that other rod, the ugly stick, has a slack line. Look at this barge coming. Is this what's gonna make it happen for us? Maybe, maybe not. It is 7.53, so really close to eight o'clock. That means we have a little, around an, a little over an hour to fish here. We've just been getting little bites here and there that I've shown you. Oh man, is it the moon? Is it this uh, dredge over here that's running their generator? A hundred reasons, could be a hundred reasons why it's not working out for us. I tend to think it's because the moon is rising right now. Tomorrow is the full moon with that lunar eclipse and it's a super moon. So right now it's really big. It looks like a normal full moon right now. Still gonna hold out right out to the last minute, ride the clock out. See if we can get at least one cat here. Oh, oh, come on. We're still getting hits here and there, but man, nothing serious. It just like shakes the rod and then they're done. The train is a coming and I'm getting out of here. It is almost nine o'clock. The cop is cruising around, pushing people out just doesn't happen sometimes just sometimes it doesn't happen probably has a lot to do with the moon i mean it's pretty big it looks full right now it's up above us well thanks for watching and subscribing and i will see you next time